Hey there. So today I want to ask you a question. How many social media platforms are you currently posting content on? Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, YouTube, Pinterest, and maybe the newest TikTok. It can be exhausting and very time consuming to try to maintain a social presence on multiple different platforms. So what I want to talk about today is how do you choose your ideal social platform to be on? This is not to say that you can't post on other platforms, but how do you choose which is the ideal platform for you to be focusing the majority of your energy in? So the first factor that you want to consider, and this is by no means um, one of the best uh, deciding factors, but it's at least a consideration. And that is which platform do you like the best? Where do you find yourself hanging out a lot because you just love the platform? Now, that doesn't mean that it's the best platform for you, but it could mean that if you love a particular platform, you're more likely to hang out there and more likely to engage uh, with other people's content. The second factor that you want to consider is where is your ideal client hanging out? If you were to look at your ideal client avatar and, and really define that, which social platform do you feel that they are hanging out on most? It could be Instagram, it could be Pinterest, it could be LinkedIn. For me, I have discovered over time that it's definitely LinkedIn. Although I love Instagram, it's a very you know visual uh, platform that I love hanging out on. My ideal client is on LinkedIn. The third factor that you want to consider is where is your content getting the most engagement? So look at your content on each of the platforms and look at, you know, how many likes you're getting, how many shares you're getting, um, how much engagement, how many comments are you getting? Because that's super telling of the fact that you have tapped into your ideal client. If you're not getting a lot of uh, shares, you're not getting a lot of comments, you're not getting a lot of interaction, it's probably not the best platform for you. And then the last factor that you want to consider, and this is definitely very important, is your metrics. Because numbers don't lie. You need to be able to look at your website traffic and determine where is your traffic coming from. I have a client, for instance, who loves Instagram. And she gets decent uh, interaction on Instagram. However, there is almost no traffic that comes to her website from Instagram. The majority of her traffic comes from Facebook. So those are some of the things that you really want to consider when you decide which social media platform that you want to pour your energy into. So my name is Lori and I run a boutique content marketing agency for heart-centered entrepreneurs. And next week, I'll have something new for you. Take care.